see, this is the thing. Not every system is going to convert every lead, but most people are going to see what we're doing and they're going to say, that's the agent I want to work with. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You have to become really efficient at handling your mental filing cabinet. You got a mental filing cabinet that's so big. And if you're just, jam it's like a real filing cabinet when you jam all that junk in there and then you got it to where you can't get any more in there because it's just so full. That's what you guys are doing with your business with just a few deals. You're jamming it full of like, you know, all the documents for the deal and like all the stuff you don't need. You're like jamming it in there in your brain and you can't fit anything out. There's no room for more deals. <laughs> we need more deals. You know, we need, we need more deals. So we gotta, we gotta keep it, gotta keep our mental capacity clear so there's room for more transactions, helping more people, making more calls, you know, handling more business. Because think about it like this, the more business we do, the more people that we're helping. And so if you allow yourself to get mentally clogged, then you're preventing yourself from helping more people. You know what I mean? So um, let's try to do a better job of uh, keeping our, men our, menta our men mental box clear, our mental filing cabinet clean so that we can handle more deals at any moment. What are our super high productive activities? It's calling people, <laughs> like property owners primarily, but our sphere, property owners, leads, following up with people, just staying on the phone. I did coffee with Joe today, and we were talking about like calling people, and then do we call them again, right? You know, you cold call, they didn't answer, do we call that number again? My answer is no because that person is a habitual non-answerer. They're just never gonna answer a number they don't know. They're just never, never gonna answer. Why are we gonna waste that dial on them when we could call someone who might answer, right? It's called, it's called clean water flowing through your business. Instead, most of you guys have swamps. You just got stagnant water. You know, your clients are the same old clients. You're trying to squeeze fresh water out of this stagnant water. And what I'm saying is, is let's keep a continuous flow of new fresh water, people that we've never talked to, flowing into our business. That's like the bloodline of your business. That's how you create a business that like comes alive out of nowhere. I also said that maybe you should call them two weeks later. Maybe you should call them a month later. I don't know. I'm not telling you what I do is the right way. I'm just telling you that I'm gonna outwork everyone to talk to the most people and to build my brand. You don't realize this, but people respect people that are cold calling them. You might not think it, and you got people out there that are like, oh, I'm scared to make cold calls, and I know I don't like to get cold called, and da 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 wah, wah, wah. And the thing is, they don't realize is that most of those people, even though they don't say it, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, man, that's a hardworking agent. That person is like out here, like grinding, like in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just doing the work shows them that you're hardworking. And then when you back that up with a tone, speed of your voice, the relaxness of your voice, the intent of what you're doing, it all lines up. They're like, wow, he's cold calling, he's a hard worker. And he's asking me if he can help me, not even trying to sell me. And, you know, I really like him. He sounds like my brother. And, you know, he's he's in the he's in the market, he knows what he's talking about. And you know, he, he's doing a weekly email, you know, it, it just all like comes full circle. You know, there's an unlimited amount of people to call and to try to help. We need to have as many conversations as we can to try to help them. If you guys aren't making calls, you're literally telling the universe, I don't want to help people today. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have to be aggressive with making our calls and then using the zero to diamond philosophies to, to create those relationships. See, that's the thing. Not every system is gonna convert every lead, but most people are gonna see what we're doing and they're gonna say, that's the agent I wanna work with. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to, you just have to visualize this and kind of see it for what it is and kind of look at the big picture of everything and think, yeah, like I see, like, it's like the where I am right now, 
this is what I visualized, a business where I just sent a weekly email out and I closed 100 deals a year. I saw this come in 10 years ago when I started the weekly email. I saw this coming. Right now, I see us growing to 1,000 agents by the end of the year. You know, 3,000 next year. I see that happening even though we're not there yet. And so you have, you guys have to see this happening. You got to visualize it and you got to believe it. You got to say, okay, if I talk to people like this, if I put the work in and do the weekly email, if I try to help people and not just try to go after deals, you know, if, if the thing is when you go after deals, you might do a few deals, but what happens? Almost zero repeat business because they knew that you were in it for just the deal. Right. And you think, oh, I did a deal, but, but really you lost, you know, 20 deals over the next 10 years from repeat business referrals. That's where it's at. When you build that personal brand and they know that you're there to care for them. That's when you get, tw that's where you turn one deal into 20 deals. And you do that over and over and over again. Mm -hmm.